Hi everyone, we're going to use the ratio test to determine whether each series is convergent or divergent. So the first thing we're going to do is find the nth term here, and my nth term would be 4, as you notice we're just, uh, this would be 3 to the nth power. What I also want to know is what would be my next term. So my next term would be um, 4 over 3 to the n plus little 1 here. Also, you need to know that 3 to the n plus 1 is the same as 3 times 3 to the n power. And just plug in some values for n, and you'll see that that works. So what we're going to do is find our ratio and we're going to take the limit of n as n approaches infinity over our next term over our previous term. So it's going to be um, our next term. I'm going to go ahead and write as 3 times 3 to the little n over, well, actually it's 4, sorry. So it's going to be 4. I'm going to go ahead and write this as 3 times 3 to the little n over my nth term, which is 4 over 3 to the n. Now what's going to happen is these two cancel, and the 4s cancel, so we get this equals uh, 1 third. So the limit as n approaches infinity of a constant is the constant. Since that's my r now, and absolute value of r is less than 1, that means it's convergent. Okay, and we're going to do one more on this, this set. We have one like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is find my nth term. Now I look at this, I'm going, uh, the numerator is 2 to the nth power and my denominator is just 5n. Okay, and you can test that. This is your first term, your second term, and your third term. My next term is going to be um, 2 to the n plus 1 over 5 to the n plus 1. So, Again, we're going to use r equals r, no, it's not the, it's the next term would be, this should be a plus the next term. So we're going to do our next term divided by our current term. And if I fix this like I did in the previous video, this is going to be 2 times 2 to the nth over 5n plus 5 divide it by um, 2 to the nth over 5n. And um, and we're doing limits, so let me write, rewrite this as limits. So r equals the limit as n approaches infinity. Now I want to clean this up, and I think sometimes students don't know how to... This is uh, complex rational, so we're basically dividing this. That means when you divide this, you're flipping the denominator over. So this is really like 2 times 2 to the nth over 5n plus 5 times, and I'm going to flip this. Um, so this will be 5n. This should be n, not big n, not little n, um, over 2 to the little n. And then when you multiply this out, you, um, these two will cancel. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity of 2 times 5 to the, or just 5n over 5n plus 5. Now this equals 10n. So we've got limit n approaches infinity over 10n over 5n plus 5. And why do I keep writing little n? So it's going to be big n. 
and when you um, clean this up, what we can do is go ahead and divide by our highest power term. So this is uh, to the first power. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and divide um, everything by n. And that gives you limit as n approaches infinity of 10 over 5 plus 5 over n. And we know from the previous videos that this is uh, the limit of that is just 0. So I'm going to just knock that out. And so this, this right here equals 2. Now, so we have r equals 2. An absolute value of tar of 2 is not less than 1. Therefore, this series is um, divergent. Okay, I'm going to also do two more videos on this, and they're going to get a little harder. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.